Well, college basketball tournaments are underway as both Tulsa and Oral Roberts take part in the postseason, both hosting their first round games in green country. News Channel 8's CJ Macklin caught up with the teams ahead of their openers in the WBIT and Women's NIT. Hey, CJ. The last time the Golden Hurricanes women's basketball team made it to the postseason was back in 2015. This is Tulsa's seventh postseason trip, this time facing the Arkansas Razorbacks and one former coach heading back to familiar territory. I think what we're seeing is a, a really boon of growth for women's basketball. And I think there's more demand for it than there has ever been before. I think we're seeing that in the ratings on ESPN. It's the time of the year where you fill out your bracket on who you think is going to move on to the next round of the tournament. Millions of brackets have already been broken today. Before these two teams, it's just the beginning of the start of something fresh for the Golden Hurricane. It's exciting first for our team. It's exciting for the city of Tulsa. And I think what makes it even more exciting is that you have uh, someone relatively close in the University of Arkansas to come over. So hopefully a lot of their fans will come as, as well and, and enjoy the event. But uh, first inaugural, you know, that's, that's important. And it's just important to get back to postseason. Tulsa will host the Razorbacks in a brand new postseason basketball tournament called the Women's Basketball Invitation Tournament. And Mike Neighbors will return to Tulsa as the head coach of the Hawks. He was a Tulsa assistant coach that actually helped will the team to their first ever postseason in women's basketball history. Or Roberts University says they plan to have a packed house tonight as they tip off the Women's National Invitation Tournament against the Tigers of Grambling. OIU says they were named the best basketball atmosphere in Oklahoma for two years in a row, and it could get even crazier tonight as their sponsor, Muskogee Creek Nation, is giving out free tickets to the postseason tournament. It was important that we wanted to celebrate, right? This postseason is important to celebrate. It's a home crowd. We want to get that um, as big as we can with no obstacles, so we didn't want anybody to have to wonder if they could afford a ticket or if they could bring their family to the game. All seating at the Maybe Center will be free thanks to ORU sponsor, Muskogee Creek Nation. The price of the WBIT tournament at the Reynolds Center is $15 for adults and $10 for kids ages 2 to 12. But at the end of the day, these teams want to advance in the tournament. Their mindset right now is all about their opponent and executing on all levels. Um, you know, th that's their concern right now is, is the opponent in front of them. This is just one game. We think we can win this game. We think we can go really far in this tournament. We might have more home games to host. So it's, it's really exciting as you look what the potential is here for the next two, three weeks. <laughs> At this point of the season, you win or go home. You lose, you're out. You move, you advance. As you guys can see behind me, ORU out already warming up. The doors just opened at 6 o'clock. Game starts at 7. Remember, free tickets, general admission. All tickets behind me are free. Get here early. Get a good seat. Get here late. You may be, may be missing out. Make sure you guys get on down here. Two games tonight, Reynolds Center and Maybe Center. Live at Maybe Center, I'm CJ Macklin. Who's going to win? Thanks, CJ.